catch up with our star-studded cash game and the Rams head center stage. That way it won't it just feel like you lost Poker Night in America brought to you by 888 Poker, where the world plays online. I like to just give the chips. That way when I get felted, I, I save 25 bucks, right? <laughs> Tom likes to know exactly it. He's an accountant. So Tom keeps track of every I session. don't actually. I have Perfect. no idea how much I, I won the other day. <laughs> he couldn't count that high. <laughs> he couldn't count as high. Just imagine if you ran good yesterday. You don't treat your poker like everything else in your life? I ran so bad. One more break. And you I, realize I don't believe it. You're ridiculous about your poker results. You realize how bad you I'm ridiculous? No, you're meticulous. No, I'm actually, I used to be, but I'm not anymore. Because like, you got me drinking. I didn't get you drinking. You got me drinking. How does that work? Gavin, how come we're the only, it seems like we're the only ones. No, we, got, we got Charter Chad's going up. We got Charter going, Chad's kept yeah, up, but they, Baker's you know, in. I mean, I'm not, I'm drinking it drink. slower, but I'm I, not really a drinker. I mean, these, these, and these you're not a drink. drinker? Like, they're, they're official the last few days I've been drinking with you guys. Although, the thing is, is like, I think these two used to be drinkers and are non-drinkers because it's better for them. I don't think he ever was a drinker. All in. All right, here we go. We got ourselves Let's a pot here. Let's this thing, tournament style. What you guys got? Christian Hunter coming with the three bet, betting enough to put Joe all in. Let's see him, boys. And Joe makes the call. And that's not fair. You, you want to see what I got first? No, I don't care. Hey. Yeah, call him. Before you see my hand. He, he, raised, he, he called it. I'll wait. I'll run it twice with you. All right, twice. All right. I'm fair. Let's see what we got. Well, right yeah. now, Joe is slightly a favorite. They are going to run it twice. You're going to hit the plus again now. Which means that one player would have to win both of the two turns and rivers in order to scoop the entire pot. Oh, big, 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 big one. The, the back door. And Joe is going to win the first one. And no heart gone either. No heart, no queen, no jack. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> Mercer's not running yet. No, Mercer and Curse Charter. And Joe spikes a four on the turn. The river is another heart. And so Joe is going to scoop. Going runner, runner for the straight on the first run and making his flush on the second. I think you should have to. You should have to tell people to remind them. Though, no, just remind I, them. I don't I've been drinking. I don't really want to do that because I. I don't want to. Someone that. remind me. Uh, you, yeah, I, you've been drinking. You're hammered. Thank you. Thank you. You're running terrible too again. I am running terrible. That's some strong ice. <laughs> <laughs> I have beer flavored ice. Are you kidding me? I, I have special. I have it flown in That's from London Canada. Flavored ice. Yeah. Call. It's amazing. Eh? You're running better today than you did yesterday. Yet you're stuck today and you won, you won the whole game yesterday. Yeah. That's how bad you ran yesterday. David calls, and now Joe, sitting in between these two, says, yep, enough money in the pot, I might as well go for it. $1,800 in pre-flop. Six? I'm rooting for Joe. I'm rooting for Joe, too. Come on, too. Joe. Come on, Joe. Come on, Get him, Joe. Joe. Go, Joe, go. Flop is queen high with two spades. Joe has middle set. <laughs> this is my read. And if you got top set, he's getting there, so tread careful. <laughs> Craig Merson will bet 900. Over to David Baker, who has the flush draw. Well, Joe didn't win this one. Fuck your fold middle set. That's f***ed up. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I know they got the top set. I told you you were going to get that. Six hundred dollars in the pot. Here comes the turn. Ten. So Baker picks up a good shot straight draw. And Greg Merson's going to be first to act. I think one more sizable bet here would probably shake David Baker off. But if he checks, it's going to give Baker an opportunity to fire at this pot to take it down. Greg does check. Back to Baker. And it looks like ODB is getting ready to bet. That's exactly what he does. $1,750 the bet. About half the pot. So now $5,300 up for grabs. See, that's the guy we need to work all night at the karaoke. You're, work, you're on shift tonight. <laughs> it's going to be like a pretty long day for you, actually. You, you can drink while, while filming, though, if you want, later on. Gavin will take the camera over. You have some experience. I, I, I do actually, and I'm I'm the uh, I'm in charge today, 
since Todd, Todd went to New York. He said so before he left. Really? I'm okay. the executive producer today. Executive producer, nice. Yeah. yeah. I'll actually get a credit on the show. I hope you do. Yeah. Don't worry, everyone. Gavin is not the executive producer for the day. And look at that. Greg Merson is going to fold. You get to see one. And Baker is going to show one card. He shows the eight of spades. Wow. 10 eight oh, of spades. Game there. on. Dr. Baker is in the house. Oh, I pulled the best hand. You want me to punch his face in? No, I had a queen. Do you want me to beat his face in though? $5,000 minimum buy-in for this cash game. Blinds are $25 and $50. There's an optional $100 straddle. I'm glad we took the straddle off now that I'm uh, peak buried. I'm really happy. Well, it's good timing for that. No, you're actually peak buried right before you lost the runway. This is true. What? Christian Harder and Greg Merson speaking their own language. Your sister's street? Oh, your sister lives a couple streets over from Greg? That's where I grew up. Yeah. Is that where you live? No, I live right on the street, though. Oh, it's yeah, yeah, Park. Yeah, yeah. He's from Canada. He doesn't know what Zerona Park is. He doesn't even know what Annapolis is. I don't know. No, no. Wait, wait, are you related to Hunter? Or what it is. Uh, it's the capital. It's the capital. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I didn't know that. My dad, did I tell you my dad grew up in Zerona Park? I think I said that. No, you didn't say that. Yeah. Rugby Hall. Really? Rugby Hall. Have you counted out and then going all in makes me think you might be got to be super uh, good. I got a huge hand. Now Baker trying to get some information off of Schneider, half talking to himself, half prodding Donkey Bomber. Oh, I have a bad feeling. He's got a bad feeling, but he's putting his chips in. I knew it. I almost laid this hand now. We got two queens. I almost, almost laid it down. Still we had aces. Once or twice. Whatever you want. Whatever you want. You're stuck, so I don't think. Let's run it twice. Let's run it twice. Two times. They both agree to run it twice. Obviously, Schneider a huge favorite. That's a decent fall. All right, so the first one goes to Tom. Wow, that's so sick. And nothing doing for David Baker. No kings in the deck? And he is, well, not drawing dead yet. <laughs> Put a paint. Oh, there's only one king in the deck? Put a paint. That's him. Thanks, 41. Yeah, I'm so bad. I knew it, too. I swear. Almost laid it down. I'm surprised that uh, David Baker made the call there. Should have just done it instead of almost doing it. I know. So I said I'm so bad. It's right there, 41. I can't fly all the way to Maryland and have to pay for my own damn drinks. I raised 41. Yeah. I'm the executive producer. <laughs> you keep saying that. You got any influence on the way these cards are being dealt? No. Here, Baker back at it with pocket tens. How far is DC from here? Christian though? Harder, or Charter as uh, he's known, calls with deuces. Well, I needed to call Charter and get information on this kind of shit. Joe Cashin calls. Would have been a lot easier if I had his phone number. But look at this, Greg Merson's calling, everyone's calling. You can have it, Kevin. I think I've had it before. I just have a new phone now. Tom Wayne calling out of the big blind. And I smashed it already. So five players will see the flop together. What's that other dealer standing over your shoulder for? Is he coming in soon? When? <laughs> yes! Check. Everyone checks, so here's the turn. It's a nine. Action's on Joe Cashin, just ace high. And you do. Oh, I'm sorry, I missed you both. Check. No worries. I apologize. I, th I thought they that are. was possible they that are. that was the case. Check. Check. Must be that one finger move. Can't trust a guy named Joe. Oh wait. Baker is going to bet 400.
go. Well aware of the actions on him now, and he will fold. Greg Merson with absolutely nothing. But absolutely nothing does not stop a world champ. And that, kids, is how you bet 2100 with nothing. But with that being the distinct possibility that that might happen. Last time when Baker and Merson tangled, David Baker semi-bluffed the turn and took it down. But now here on the river, this is just a flat-out bluff by Greg Merson. They just checked and won the hand. Gotta be maybe stinging a little bit from losing that ace king to Tom Schneider. That's gotta be the best hand. I give it to you. So on. And let me guess, here comes the eight of spades. Yep, sure enough. Seven, eight. WWDB. I said if it's a club, it bodes well for the. Could be the seven, eight of spades. Could be anything. We just That's checked it true. down. It doesn't have to be like connected to that board. <laughs> Runway! So I was right, is what you're saying. Yeah, it could be. <laughs> you got hood flatted by Tommy Schneids. <laughs> you guys know I don't play anything very well. You know that, right? Well, you run bad, though. I think the term hood was created for Tommy Schneids. I kind of like Schneids, is Tom Schneider's new nickname. It goes by Donkey right, Bomber, so but Schneids works for me. Year, so Two local pros that. going at it here with Chad Power and Tom Wang. That's Hanks with them. God, Hanks would be amazing in this game, too. The, uh, the, the genius Chinny school of Plo is very anti-hood. You know how people just hood the threes? Like, out of the small blind? Yeah. It's like, raise three bet, and the small blind's like, cool. Turn the deuce. <laughs> They're like, really against the... Power checks. Action on Wang yes. with his pair of sevens. What'd you say? Against it? They don't, they don't do it? Like, very, very, uh... Very rarely with like a select number of tents. Like way less than what it seems to be how often it happens. 650. Show one, Tommy. Show an eight. Tommy Wang. Oh, the eight, eight. comes out of the The eight is back. I missed the eight. I had an eight beat. I missed the eight. The eight. Eight is always such a good card to show. How do you guys always have an eight? eight it's hard to get a hand that you can play with an eight. Unless you're playing. Hard for you to get Unless you guys are hood flattening it. <laughs> I'm out of my element here. And uh, so therefore, I'm, I deserve a few extra. Um, I think anytime you have greyhounds, you're not element, out of your opportunities. I, I deserve a few, a few added benefits that you guys don't get. <laughs> you get everything. You don't have to post, but everyone else does. Right. Well, that, that's one of the things. I'm not, because. Because I'm primarily not a cat. You're three for you don't have to play any hands because you can just win all the oh, runways. Runways, yeah. yeah. I'm primarily not a cash game player, though, so that's why I get these these, these added benefits. And I wear a bacon jacket. Yeah, you, were, you didn't even have to be in the tip pot when you weren't even here, too. You should pay him $6. I should, but I'm not going to. Seven. Seven would be too much. Seven dollars. No. Oh. Eight handed. Huh? Yeah, so that's uh, 56. He only pays sorry. 50. Come on. I'll give you a pass. I got your time this one. Thanks, right. buddy. Appreciate it. I'm not See, Chargers just Chargers just got a little bit of a hard on for me right now. He's like a little bit pissy because he wants to be the executive producer, but <laughs> he can't be. I, I mean, I figured the executive producer at least gets zone one. You gotta dress the part. <laughs> I know. How do I not get zone one? That was bull. <laughs> Dave, if I don't get zone one in my in future flights, I'm not coming to this thing. Did you get paid? All right. Oh, That's all right. Who's paying? I, I should a loser just keep buying all this shit or uh, maybe maybe one of my that winning thing. For, for one sure. of my winning friends. Uh, the show's really taken off. How many times can I shame him into Syracuse, it? Syracuse they fly as in a private jet. Now I get zone two. Tom, mm -hmm. I would buy it, but I gave you all my money. What's that? I would have bought, but I gave you all my money. Well, you want a drink? I'll buy you a drink. I don't drink. Oh, then I'll. Water? I drink I'll get you all the water you want, but I don't, worry. don't worry about water, Joe. I got you. <laughs> how long have you not drank Thank for? Thank you, Jeff. Thank you. Joe, how long have you not drank for? 17 years. 16. Wow. 16 is the best. 
That's okay, because Gavin Gavin kept the uh, the vodka companies in business while you quit. <laughs> yeah. Gavin figured you needed to make it up for, for Joe. I've made it up for more than just Joe. Yeah, you probably have. I've probably Can consumed, you like, three and a half people's worth. Yeah. I'm hurting, right? Not apart, but I'm Baker calls. $5,400 in cash in the pot now. We got a hand here. Oh, wow. <laughs> David Baker hits his gut shot on the river and casually checks. Ho hum. Merson trying to figure the exact amount he thinks he can bet to have Baker call. My dad, my, dad's, my, dad's, my dad died, but uh, his name's Steve Harder. He went to Zerner Park High as well. Harder, H R D E R. He went to Zerner Park High as well. He's, he would have he would have graduated around 1970, I guess. Um, but then he had a construction business before he moved to uh, Virginia. 4,800. Almost a pot-sized right. bet from Merson. Action back to David Baker who's now going to put on the same thinking cap of how much money can I get out of Greg Merson with my straight. Christian, is where you're from close to Laurel? I mean, that's where Greg's from. It's like 30, 30 minutes away. Because that's where Stevie does, that's where Stevie did his, he probably knew your dad then, because he did, he's done tile work for 40 years. His dad's done it for, his dad's done it for 70 years. His dad retired when he was 88. I'm doing it. I'm sure one of them did. I actually, when I was a kid, Mullen. first All grade, in. I lived in Eastport. And a bad spot for Greg Merson. He's only got a couple thousand left. There's $19,000 in this pot. But if he makes the call, all the rest of his chips are going in the middle. That may be one of the most painful things you have to do in poker. You flop top set of aces and you had to fold. What did he show? Holy Did shit. he show the card yet? He showed a six of diamonds. And Baker's gonna let Merson off the hook and show them that he did indeed make the straight on the river. He just went with the big lick. If you like this video from season whatever from Poker Night in America, there are at least 41 other seasons, and we've got every episode here on our page at your disposal. Go to town, but make sure you hit like and subscribe.